Hi everyone, Caroline here. There are some interesting energies that can easily get trapped in our bodies. And today I want to share with you how to get rid of these types of energies because these types of unwanted energies can be very problematic if they're not taken care of or if they're allowed to accumulate over periods of time because we are not aware that they exist. And you know the unfortunate thing is that these energies usually appear to be very innocent at first because they don't disrupt our lives. They don't cause us to go off track. They don't cause our lives to come to a standstill. And because of this, many of us tend to ignore them until a lot of it has accumulated in our bodies or until we begin to experience physical symptoms. And then you're like, what? What just happened? You know what I mean? But I want to tell you, if you are conscious of your body or your health process, you can easily discharge this energy from your body or from your cellular memory before it causes trauma or unnecessary pain in your body. And just because something does not on the face of it, appear to be harmful or offensive it cannot be ignored and this is why I really want to share about this activity that we can all engage in on a daily basis because it's so fun to help us discharge this energy from our physical bodies so that there's not a lot of stuff accumulating in us that is causing us extra extra problems that we don't really need especially at this particular time Anyway, the type of crazy energy that I'm referring to here is that type of energy that we knowingly or unknowingly experience throughout the day through observation and interaction. And this means that sometimes you observe something or have an interaction with someone that causes some kind of discomfort in our body. Or we may go to a place and we enter into that establishment or that office or whatever and we notice that there is an uncomfortable feeling. You know how you can catch vibes in a place and usually they're not good vibes, they're those bad vibes? So that's what I mean. You feel some type of discomfort. You notice that discomfort, but then you ignore it and then you just go on with your day because it doesn't feel significant. But our bodies record everything and those uncomfortable feelings have to go somewhere. That unwanted energy has to go somewhere. So it goes into our cellular memory. It goes into our body and settles in some specific parts of our body, which I'm going to tell you about shortly. But anyway, once that energy has settled, there it can become problematic if it goes unchecked or if we keep ignoring these types of things and not discharging that type of energy from our physical bodies and the cool thing about this is that almost all of us can at least engage in this type of activity that I'm going to be sharing with you it's so so easy and so we don't have to let energies accumulate in our bodies and even when we do we have a way of discharging those energies out from our physical bodies so that you can feel lighter, more vibrant and healthier. And just to be clear, let me give you an example of how some of these unwanted energies come into our life experience. So imagine that you're just walking and then you bump into someone that you know or you don't know. You say hi, exchange pleasantries, and then during that interaction or when the conversation is over, you kind of get a weird feeling about that person or about yourself or about the experience itself, and you're not really sure what it is. And it's almost like one of these things where sometimes someone can call you by name because they remember you from somewhere, but then you don't remember them or you don't remember their name. And then there's that uncomfortable feeling. So you get that feeling of, oh my gosh, it's kind of weird that I didn't remember this person. And then you start processing, did I know that person from somewhere? And there's that awkward, uncomfortable feeling which you notice and observe. But since the experience is not affecting you directly, it's not interfering with your day-to-day -day life, you just sort of move on. But that feeling, that discomfort is an energy and energy does not exist in a vacuum it has to go somewhere so it goes into your body same thing happens when you walk into a store and you feel certain vibes from that environment you notice those vibes in the store they make you feel uncomfortable but they don't really directly interfere with your day-to-day -day experience so you ignore them the important thing is that that energy goes somewhere. It goes into your body and it has to be discharged. And there are so many instances where these types of unwanted energies are attracted into our bodies. Even at work or in an environment where you just walk in and you can just sense the vibe of the people in that environment. And just because, well, you know them or maybe it's your boss or whatever and it's not really directly impacting your work at that particular moment, you just make that mental observation or you feel that in your body somehow. It's very, very uncomfortable but because the boss didn't call you in and write you up or because some big thing did not happen as a result of that feeling that you had, you just 
go on with your life. You know, these things happen to us all the time. So a lot of us accumulate a lot of unwanted energy during the course of the day. And that energy got to go somewhere and it has to be discharged. So what usually happens when we experience things like that or we make observations where we feel something coming into our energy system is that these energies come into our solar plexus because the solar plexus area is the feeling energy center. So most of us will usually feel something around this area when we first make an observation. It might be light for some people or it might be really heavy for some people. It really depends on your sensitivity. And if we keep ignoring that feeling, it goes from the solar plexus down into our hip area, our thighs and our legs. That's where that unwanted energy settles. And this is why a full body clearing and a discharge charging of energy from our lower extremities is so so important because it brings us to physical exercise yes physical exercise is a great way of discharging unwanted energies from your hips, your thighs, your booty, your legs, your lower extremities. And this physical exercise that I'm talking about has to be done vigorously. It can't just be like, oh, you know, yoga and whatnot, even though that is good. It has to be some vigorous kind of body movement, either running or fast paced walking or dancing vigorously, you know, shake that thing or cycling or even a physical activity activity like hiking. As long as it's vigorous and it's moving your lower extremities, it is a good exercise for discharging unwanted energies from your body. You know, there's a good reason why people tend to feel better after physical exercise and why physical exercise or movement is usually recommended in some healing modalities. And this health consciousness thing is a whole body thing, mind, body and spirit. So we can't just focus on one aspect of things when other aspects are ignored. So you focus on your spirit, you focus on your body, you focus on your mind, you focus on your emotions. It's a whole new type of thing. So even when we are focused on working with spiritual tools, like crystals we must also work on our physical body because everything works together oh and by the way let me share this with you i learned something really cool that people who are not able to use their physical body for movement can use in cases like this and that thing is that because our eyes are the observation points for interactions you can blink your eyes rapidly for at least 30 seconds to one minute or thereabouts with the intention of discharging that type of unwanted energy from your body so just blink your eyes rapidly but don't do it vigorously anyway crystal lovers do you already incorporate physical exercise in your daily routine if so what type of activity is it and if you don't already do this just feel encouraged because we can all start employing physical exercises in our daily routine at any time in our lives it's never too late for anyone okay so let's all keep pushing away that unwanted energy from our bodies. Let's keep moving and let's stay healthy. Until next time, I love you guys. Bye.